When a bug lands on a carnivorous plant, it slowly curls its leaves around it so that it can't escape. But there is one plant out there that could eat birds, seeing as it is nearly two feet tall. The King Sunju. Yet, if you buy the very same plant for your collection, it's tiny, grows slowly, and barely wraps around its prey, unlike the monsters in the wild. And seeing as they are only found on one specific mountain in a secret location, the lifelong dream of finding these wild giants is impossible. Unless you have the world's best guide. <laughs> With no guarantee that we would find these giant plants, we started our adventure to the top of these mountains. And our guide, Andre, knows pretty much everything about the plants around us. <laughs> what is that? It see us all wrapped around the plant like that. This is witch's stress. Parasitic in that it steals nutrients, minerals from the plants that it climbs on. Yeah, it's all suckers break into our pond, steal some nutrients, Grand Theft Auto style. So these are the flower heads that have opened after the recent fire. So their strategy is they hold onto their seeds and cones on the flower until the fire and they open up. They're very fluffy, we should make pillows out of these actually. <laughs> like this protea of, pillows. It's out of the fluff, that's, a, that's your million dollar business idea. <laughs> yeah. Here we have a King Protea. It's big as well, eh? And it's really, it actually is really soft. They make insane amounts of sugar, so when the flower is freshly opened it is absolutely buzzing with birds and insects and whatever and people would actually used to harvest the flower heads and boil them to get the sugar out and make a syrup from it that's interesting i didn't know about that middle those middle things are yeah so each little individual bit is a flower wow what are you looking for so i'm looking for drosera trinervia stems so winter growing sunnies so i grow in these little moss banks in winter where it's nice and rainy but sometimes if you're lucky you find the dry remains. This is actually the cousin of the one we're looking for. Oh, here's a trident, man. See, there's one of the dry drops we're trying to invest back off. So lower is it at the bottom. We yeah. stem with the V seed pods on it. We break oh. them. Doesn't look like there's anything left because it just dries out too much oh. when they're growing. So these are all the little seed stems that are left. A lot of the streams are just, they pop up in winter when there's a lot of rain. Then we have a super dry summer. So by the time now it's March, yeah. it's been, about four months since good rain at least so things dry out but the moment it starts raining properly again this place is going to be gushing down you thirsty like <laughs> <laughs> yep. this dry river made me worried that the plants we are looking for wouldn't have enough water to survive as hundred read about them in a letter that's over 100 years old that was until he pointed out the most beautiful waterfall i have ever seen that's where we're going. And made us realize that we might not be as prepared as we needed to be to find these monsters. We're taking the, the shoes off. Andre is going to roll up his pants. We're leaving the, the camera gear behind. All I'm taking is the GoPro. So hopefully we can find these plants. Obviously, don't do this at home. <laughs> oh, unless you have a waterfall in your house. How long, how long are you going to take? Maybe two hours. Maybe. Okay. We'll see. Just uh, take it easy, eh? <laughs> Off to a good start. Ooh, okay. Well, now it's just me, so I'm just gonna guard this stuff. Make sure no one steals it. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this without getting the camera wet. Oh, that is cold. Oh. Oh. That is cold. Oh. Oh. So you there. Yeah. Oh Let's see what's around. I think that's a good place to maybe swim. What do you reckon? Who wants to jump in? Oh yeah, there is, eh? Wow. So it's all your tricky area, but it's water. But it's like, we thought it's the leaves. 
every single one of these small green leaves is a microscopic carnivorous plant. So anywhere it's wet and shady, you get this kind of setup going. Lots of ferns, mosses. That's so beautiful, eh? Nice right? And with only three hours remaining before we must leave, we finally find a living cousin of the King Sanju. And we see a Sanju, Drosrocopensis, and look, it's curled around something. Yet, actually finding the kings won't be this easy. That's beautiful. That I just heard a loud commotion up there, and I don't know what it was. So I hope they're out. You okay up there? Hmm. Hopefully they're out. Just a bit up here, there's some more, some more capensis here on the rocks. On the side of the waterfall, guys, we're going up there. There's few moments in life where you'll be surrounded with beauty, yet challenged by death. This is very dangerous. This was one of them. I don't really know where I'm going from here. <laughs> so I don't know what these little black things are. They look like tadpoles, but no, no, they kind of look like chicks. Moving around in the water. No, I'm getting out. So we're at the top of the waterfall, but we can't find them. And I'm up, I'm up on the rock, and Andre he's looking along the bottom. So I don't know if we'll be able to find them. I want to keep going through those bushes here, just looking around. Maybe we can find them. We'll see. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> So there's a lot of bees around here, as I have just realized. They all flocked to the bag, the bag that has the snaps. And now I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if I should grab the snacks out, face my fears, or if I should just sit here. I might, I might try. Let's, you know what, let's just do it. I need a hard note, come on. We've gone around this uh, waterfall area and uh, we can't go much higher. So we don't think we found them today, guys. But that doesn't mean Andre won't jump. I'm still gonna have some fun. <laughs> ready, ready. Oh my god. Jump out, duck in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Perfect landing, 10 out of 10. <laughs> what is that? That was a big ass wasp. There's ah, one. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. How do I get back up? Gotta watch your footing, footing here very carefully, guys. So, gotta be careful. So, I'm gonna put the, the camera back away. This will be interesting. <laughs> See how they get down. <laughs> it's quite slippery by the looks of things. Oh! <laughs> no way! Point out, ladies and gentlemen. Did that hurt? Did you cut yourself? Uh, I don't know. It's not your day. Yeah. No, not your day. Oh, no, we got number t number two. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the easiest of just if you just slide down, you'll end up breaking. <laughs> so get down there and just kind of like bum slide your way down. It's beautiful up there, city. Yeah. You probably would actually be able to see us from down here. I was getting chased by bees. Really? Yeah. <laughs> After having risked our lives for a plant we couldn't find, we finally had some lunch and spent some time reflecting on what we just did. How do you feel that we didn't find them? It's, that happens. Really, you have to know pretty much exactly, exactly where they are. Yeah. Despite being so big, they hide it incredibly well. With the tall grass and the reeds and all that stuff is so difficult to find. And although we hadn't found what we had came for, we were reminded about the beauty that is still around us. Did you just steal? Um, that's their that's their mother. <laughs> it's a Cape River frog. There's so many tadpoles, eh? Yeah. So everywhere here. So it's a slung boss. It smells very nice. Has a very nice sort of bright citrusy smell. Oh, yeah, I can smell it from here. Slung boss means snake bush. It's people oh. keep snakes away. It's really neat. But the idea is nice. Slung, slung boss. Oh. <laughs> See, we have some Drosser Admirabilis. 
really beautiful with Laura's that sundew. These ones are so cute and small. They just always glisten in the sun. They almost got like a little purple hue in the end of the tentacles. Yeah, and they just sound like this peaty, goopy nonsense. And when you slow down enough to open your eyes, you start to see everything around you. We just found some Drostra admirabilis. So uh -huh. guess what? We just found some Regio as well. Now have a look over here. Got some. Yeah. Oh, then. Yeah, and here's the, oh, the King Sunday. They're everywhere. There's a four of the scale. Proper tall plants. They're huge, eh? Wow, they are really sticky as well, eh? Look at the length of that. That's insane. It's literally longer than my whole arm. Just one leaf. When I measured my arm at home, that leaf comes to 60 centimeters or two feet. And although our plants at home might not be as big or as hungry, they do remind us of a small part of a beautiful world. Please subscribe to Hundre on his own channel, Cape Carnivores. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and you'd probably enjoy seeing what happens if you feed a Venus flytrap human food, which is a terrible thing to do. Just click the video on screen to find out what happens.